Hey everyone, and welcome to a particularly spooky episode. Not really. Welcome to another review. I'm your host, as ever, Purple Man uh, Welcome back, if you've been here before. Uh, this is another game review, if you didn't guess, by the fucking title, because it's clearly not a movie or TV show. But it's based off of a TV show, so that counts, I guess. Anyway... Uh, we are, of course, doing Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, uh, continuing on with my tendency of doing old PS2 games currently, mainly just games from my childhood, of course, because I would like to say I'm old, but I'm not. But PS2, don't f you can sue me if you want, is the best console ever made, I'm sorry. Like, absolute bangers of games, absolute classics, so much, like... It, so, it made so much of an impression on my childhood, it's insane, being one of my first ever consoles. But I did have a PS1, but a PS2 was supreme, I'm sorry. So we are doing the usual, uh, if you're not familiar with main story, gameplay, side content, and little personal notes at the end. Uh, <laughs> so we do it sort of as a category thing, if you're not familiar so we'll just go part by part, and we'll get right into it. So, the Mystery Inc., of course, Fred, Daphne, Shaggy, Scooby, and Velma. I think that's everyone. Uh, go to the Mystic Manor after Daphne's friend's uncle goes missing. Now, despite being um, Scooby-Doo property, um, it, Shaggy is not voiced by Matthew Lillard for a change. Uh, despite, after the first two films, he was basically voicing him in everything. Shockingly, he doesn't voice him in this. But anyway. Uh, after they arrive, however, all but Scooby-Doo are kidnapped by the evil mastermind, who I must uh, quickly mention is voiced by Tim Curry. Uh, the legendary Tim Curry, Pennywise. Um, the original Pennywise, I should say. Excuse me. I'm a little bit sick still. Somehow, despite being months later, I'm still a little bit ill. So, of course, he is uh, Frank and Fur from Rocky Horror Show as well. But more importantly, he was the professor in Scary Movie 2, which we have covered on the channel. So, this is the first time, I believe, someone has crossed over between review series. He, with a reluctant help from the man as groundskeeper, basically, uh, he just gives smarky, snarky comments and shit. Uh, and also, he just acts as like the tutorial guy. Uh, are left to search for the others and stop the villain, of course, playing out like your regular, pardon me, Scooby-Doo TV show. Uh, the game is a mix of an action game as well as a platformer, uh, but there's less action. It's not... It's, can I say it's an action, really? It's more of a platformer, as well as puzzles and other bits. Uh, you will have to traverse the different areas of the map. So it's the maze, the fishing village, and the mansion are your main three areas. Not to spoil anything a bit later on. But there is other little areas. But they're your main three, like, hub areas. Uh, avoiding iconic Scooby-Doo monsters as you do so. So, of course, to name a few, you've got the werewolf, you've got the witch, you've got the zombie, you've got um, the scarecrow... Yeah, I won't go any further because we may get a bit spoilery. Plus, play the game. Play the game and find out. Oh, now my fucking batteries are dying. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> this is going really well. Oh, with some batteries. I do apologise uh, immediately after I start recording. We're back in business, we're back in business. I do apologise for that. Usually it's fine, but it's always as soon as I start fucking recording, it's like, oh, your battery's gonna die. Anyway, luckily I've always got spares, just in case. Uh, don't know where I was, so yeah. Uh, while initially only being able to stun the monsters, collecting special items will allow you, will allow you to deal with them in different ways. Uh, like, there's a stealth one, like, to name a few. You've got a helmet that allows you to actually take them out, and then you've got, like, the the slippers 
the slip is to sneak past and the lampshade if they're not fully aware of you. <laughs> it's classic Scooby-Doo stuff. Uh, the inventions are needed in order pro to progress throughout the game, being needed mostly in order to open up new areas for you to go through. But as mentioned, there are a few that allow you to defeat the monsters. Uh, collecting Scooby Snacks, of course, is also needed to unlock certain gates in order to get new parts of the map. Alongside these gates are fast travel points that allow you to quickly return to other gates found throughout the map. These are an essential tool as you are required to do a large amount of backtracking to progress. That is true, there is a lot, but each area gives you a gadget usually that you can then use in the other areas to progress. Uh, side content is incredibly limited, pretty much only consisting of the game's monster museum. Uh, this is basically like your, um, like with Ratchet and Clank, you've got the Insomniac Museum to name. Or like um, Modern Warfare 2 has got the museum in that, the original Modern Warfare 2, I should say. Uh, by finding tokens scattered around the map, you will be able to view the pictured monster's model, as well as some trivia about it. It's like, one of them, when I found it, it was just like, here's a trivia question for you. Who makes the Scooby-Doo snack, like the Scooby Snacks? And then the answer is, the Scooby Snack Factory. Thanks, I couldn't have guessed. It's just silly stuff. I think that's just because it's such a big thing. Like, who actually makes it? Do they, or do like, is there like a manufacturer that does it? And ignoring the fact that, Sco that, that Shaggy eats dog treats. That's a whole other thing. Obviously, everyone said Scooby-Doo. Uh, inside the museum, you can also find a machine that allows you to view concept art and cutscenes. Yeah, run-of-the-mill stuff that you would get. Uh, I used to play this game a lot as a child. Uh, I remember not being able to progress that far. I still don't think I've ever finished it. However, like when I did the Ratchet and Clank 3 one, which I have finished before, I have busted the PS2 out again. I'm hoping to finish that soon. For the first time in my life, after years and years of having, well, playing it. But it, I just loved it so much because I was just a massive fan of the various different cartoons on TV and also the films we've covered on the channel if you want to go uh, watch those as well. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, playing this is similar to watching those cartoons due to the levels being named like an episode as well as the, act the actual canned laughter played throughout. Yeah, there is actually like a laugh track played through certain parts of the game or like certain things you do. Just to add the extra silliness. Also, the soundtrack as well is banging. Absolute bangers play throughout. Uh, it's admittedly an age game with badly dated graphics. Yeah, it doesn't look great, but it's a PS2 game from... When was this made? 2002. I was one years old when this game came out. So, yeah, shit's gonna change. Uh, so, yeah, badly dated graphics as well as control scheme. Uh, but it still provides an enjoyable experience that you will love if you're a fan of the shows and even the films. So yeah, <laughs> overall it's a f fucking brilliant game. It's very campy, very silly. It's not difficult either. It can just be a slog if you are wanting to get anywhere, going back and forwards. But the fast travel helps, so you don't have to go through entire areas again. But other than the back, the backtracking, the controls aren't the best, and the graphics are just a bit vintage, to say the least. Just give it a go. You could probably find it cheap. It's a PS2 game, for God's sake. You ain't going to find them that expensive. Plus, it's not like a big game where everyone's like, oh, the PS2 is known for Scooby-Doo. Like, come on. But anyway, thank you ever so much for listening to me ramble for a little while. Uh, I've been your host, as ever, Purple Midnight 8. And I will see you in the next one, whatever that, whatever that may be, whether it's a film, a game, or some other shit. I will see you then. If it wants to stop recording.